What the fuck is up, everyone? Thralls of Metal back again for another excellent album review. I am Shred Lord. I'm Jam and John. Necrotic Nick. The album that we bring forth to you is none other than Lamb of God's new album, Omens. This comes out on the 7th of October on Epic Records slash Nuclear Blast. I guess it depends on where you're at. This band formed in 1999 in Richmond, motherfucking Virginia, as Randy likes to yell on stage. Originally started as Burn the Priest in 1994 and then changed her name in 1999 to Lamb of God because Burn the Priest, I guess, was uh, rough. I mean, you should see some of the band names we go over. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's pretty tame. This is their ninth album overall, and uh, yeah, groove metal, kind of modern American you know, metal. Like It was a huge fucking thing back in the early 2000s. They're still out here cranking out you know, their brand of groove metal, kind of like this generation's Pantera in a way, I guess. Eh. That's a tough comparison, but I mean, I, I can definitely see them being like kind of you know, that sort of band for a lot of people. And in terms of like gateways into more extreme music, definitely. This band has been great for that. So prior to this release, we got three singles. We got Nevermore, Grayscale, and Omens. Upon listening to them, I didn't know what to expect still. The singles that they released kind of had me feeling like it was gonna be similar to the previous album uh, a few years ago, which, was just okay to me. So upon this review, I think all three of us really were kind of wondering where this was going to go. So the whole thing starts off with the track Nevermore. I have to say, I first off appreciate the fact that there is no real lead in, no intro. It just goes. It's right into the, you know, groovy, nasty riffs that you expect from Lamb of God. Lots of cool syncopated drums. And honestly, like throughout listening to this, Art Cruz sounds really good on here and drums. Yes. In fact, yep. he sounds much more loosely than the self-titled album. Yep. So, you know, definitely, uh, I, I can sense that he's definitely more comfortable with the material now, and it kind of has a little bit of that kind of old-school Lamb of God swagger to it, like, you know, as the palace was burned, ashes the wake. You know, this kind of opens up ferociously, and, you know, instead of just kind of, you know, doing a going through the motions Lamb of God song, this song actually has some bite to it. Yeah, the guitar tone I thought was even a little bit more BV. And let me say, I'm so thankful. Eh, goodbye, Piccolo Snare. Goodbye, Piccolo Snare. I didn't realize the Piccolo Snare was such an issue. Um, it was yep. clearly one of the top things on your mind. As yes. It was one of the first things you stated as Fucking the record started drummers. playing. Yep. Goodbye, <laughs> Piccolo Snare. It was too high-pitched and poppy. I thought it just took away from the, the possible heft that drums could bring and just was like, pink. Eh. Yeah. And honestly, like, how this album opens, just in terms of, like, the first run of tracks, like, maybe the first four tracks, it kicks off pretty well. Like, mm -hmm. there seems to be more aggression and more intensity. The last album, it kind of felt like they were going through the motions, and that kind of stayed the course the entire album. This one shows off, like, a little bit more variety. Like, songs like Ditch and To the Grave sound mm -hmm. very heavy. Like, there's yep. some really good, chunky riffs. There's some almost mashuga like you know, in syncopation, the end, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. And it just feels bitier overall, mm -hmm. like just more intense. It has balls. I like balls. True story. Not only to the grave, but the track that follows Ditch is another one that I think kind of stood out in my mind as seeming focused, creative, and aggressive. Uh, something a lot of the material I felt on the last album lacked a little bit. However, it does kind of change a little bit for me uh, as it continues. From Omens On, now, I disagree with these gentlemen, and we'll get into it a little bit. There's a track called Gamora, and I thought it was pretty cool. The guitars are still very distorted, but he's picking the individual notes in the background. It created a nice, cool, kind of a slow, melodic drop that you don't hear too often on these albums, and uh, I thought it was really cool. I thought it was cool, but all right, this is kind of curtails into an issue I had in the album, is it sort of teased stuff that I think could have been used on here more. Like, I like that more haunting melodic intro, mm -hmm. but inevitably it just sort of shifted gears back into a Lamb of God song. Like, you know, kind of what you hear on bulk of their albums. Like, mm -hmm. And they have a great sound. Like, they have a sound that is, you know, 100% there. It's unmistakable, especially with, you know, Randy's token growls and their, their riff structure. But I figured that they were going to try something a little bit different. Like, the last album was so by the numbers, it stayed the course. Hell, this album even gets faster and thrashier in spots where that last album really yeah. didn't at all. It yeah. just hung on to that groove. But there was just something that wasn't explored there. And it was only like partially sort of like, yeah, we looked over the fence and saw that. I was like, that is pretty cool. 
and then they went right back you know behind their side of the fence yeah that was an issue on here like there are moments in here where i think a little bit of experimentation just to you know broaden the album sound could have really benefited well that was one of the problems i had too because a lot of these songs have potential to them there are there are individual moments in each song where you're like all right this could be cool but it's yanked mm, away too soon but there it, it is it, yes it's yep. yanked away too soon the the things that make this album a little bit different creatively uh seem to be taken away before they can really develop and then they go right back to the wheelhouse mm -hmm. and I think that potentially it took away from the potential of some of these songs. And what hurts it more is, again, it opens up very promising. Like, there seems to be, like, a renewed aggression to the band. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit more, like, loose playing. The riffs, in particular, are aggressive as hell. And this album is loaded with riffs. These guys know how to write them. But once you hit Omens, it kind of hits, like, a cruise control point. Like, Omens, pretty much through ill designs is, you know, it's Lamb of God, it's good, but it's kind of standard fare. And Omens, I thought was very odd because the number of guests on there just to do backup vocals, namely Ernie C. and Juan Garcia from Body Count, Wes Isold from Give Up the Ghost, Toby Morse from H2O, and Sarah Taylor from Youth Code. All of them are on there supplying backup vocals, and the only person you can hear is Randy. Yep. And I just... I don't know, like, they kind of bothered me like it bothered me when Chuck Billy was on the last album, and they almost kind of mixed him out. That yeah. is a producer yeah. thing. And they went back to Josh Wilbur again, who is a solid producer, and this does have a tight, crisp sound. Like, there's really nothing overtly wrong with the production. Mm -mm. Other than maybe, you know, the bass isn't very present, but uh, you run into that a it lot. It is, but it isn't. Yeah, you know, when you follow the guitars a lot, because Campbell's pretty much following what these guys are doing so much that... It all just kind of blends together as this big, crunchy wall of sound. I mean, He's there. syncopation's a huge thing with Lamb of God. Like, when it comes down to the breakdowns, which are fucking all over the place in here. Yep. Yeah, it's really cool syncopated breakdowns. You know, like, again, like, there's a little bit of a nod to, like, bands like uh, Meshuga and even Decapitated in mm -hmm. some respects, albeit, like, different, a little bit more groovy. And when they get fast and thrashy... I really like that because they squeeze in some melodic death metal riffs, like stuff that you would hear, like maybe in an At the Gates song, or uh, definitely the Haunted, because there's that like thrashy backbone to it. But again, these are elements I don't think are explored enough because there is this Lamb of God comfort zone. And granted, it works. Like they know how to write Lamb of God songs because they're Lamb of God. Right. But again, like there's this kind of want for like a little bit more like a little bit more experimentation because they know they can do it because you hear it occasionally it just doesn't hang out very long like it it sounds like they tried there was definitely i think more effort than maybe in a couple previous albums but even though they tried they still went back to the well like every at the end of every song you're like well that was a lamb of god song there were some cool parts but Lamb of God. Unless there's a false ending, which there's a couple on here, which They're, were kind of fun. Yeah, they like, were. Oh, all right, one more nasty breakdown. All right. I can do it that. Where they do get outside the box, though, and I think have some success is like a short banger, like denial mechanism. Mm -hmm. Like this is more punky, hardcore. I mean, honestly, it feels like more like a Randy song because he's yes. big into punk and hardcore. Yep. But that dials up the energy, and it's a different kind and of And it's energy. a change. It is. You kind of got outside of, you know, going to the well, you know, maybe you rescued the band members that fell in there and say, hey, let's play a fucking fast, thrashy, punky one. Let's pull you out of that mud there, bud. Oh, it's good water down here. I don't think I can leave. Now, there isn't many leads on this album. I think there's two that I can recall. There's more than that, but the issue is that they're very short. Yeah, it, it could have used maybe um, more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. We we could have used used more. Um, more Morton. More more Morton. I like that. I'm more Morton. To say, more Morton. More Morton. I definitely could have used some more lead work. It was fast. It was aggressive. It was good. Fit the song, but could have used more of it. The things that stood out for me as far as creativity goes is things that they did in such as Gamora or even the final track September song, where they added elements of slowing it down when they take their time and let the melodies kind of be haunting they created some pretty interesting atmospheres i thought september song had like again that was another one that i thought had like a lot of potential like yeah. you have this really cool like softer intro and it's like a completely different mood like there's nothing else on the album that sounds like this but then it inevitably shifts gears into 
the you know Lamb of God into a Lamb of God song. Yep. But there's stuff they actually you know like in terms of like song structuring, trying to build a bigger song. Like there's a really cool bridge part with like sort of like a tapping melody yep. on it. It kind of almost sounds like a sped up Tool riff. But it goes into like a thrashy section with a lead, and you're kind of like, oh, well, all right, let's see how long they keep this one up. And it's it doesn't. A couple of measures, and then you kind of get back to what they're doing on there. Granted, there's some cool breakdowns, and they try yeah. to lush it up with some keys, and they're somewhat effective. But yeah, like that's the thing. Like you hear moments that are really good, and then it, it kind of just, I don't know, it, it feels safe, but it feels less safe than the last one. Yes. yes. So I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of right in this weird place with this one. So after this album concluded, I had to think to myself, long and hard, hmm. long hmm. and hard. Hmm. Now, the self-titled album that dropped about two years ago, I wasn't entirely crazy about. However, I just thought it was just kind of a standard good old Lamb of God album. I feel very similar about this album, but I must say that there it has been improvements. I feel like there is a renewed sense of energy in the songwriting. I felt like even though it wasn't enough for me personally, there were some touches that I'd like to see uh, continue on further releases that make the songs kind of more unique to each other. and. I can't lie, I do believe this to be a better album than previous. With that being said, thanks to tracks such as Ditch and To The Grave and September Song, I'm going to give this a three and a half. I gave the previous one a three because I felt like it was just kind of there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. I must realize that I'm probably never going to get another sacrament, and that's okay. I also haven't really fell in love with the Lamb of God album since Sturm and Drang, and that's okay too, but I see this album as being on the trajectory back towards the righteous path. So this is a step above the self-titled for me, so I will say three and a half, and there are definitely um, some great moments on this album, so don't let the fact that we harped on the well uh, lead you away from the fact that the well does have some tasty drinks in it. That's all I'm saying. You know, I gave the last record a three because I thought it was just there. This one does have some potential to it. The problem is, is that they go back to the Lamb of God well. I'm, I'm also going to give this a three, but I will note that this one is slightly better than the last one. It's not enough to get another half a star, but it's got some better moments. I was somewhat surprised at times. You know, I haven't been really impressed by a Lame of God record since Ashes of the Wake. Sacrament was all right. But I, but I haven't been really impressed Kiss by Lame my of God ass, since. you rotten motherfucker. <laughs> I like Wrath. Wrath is a good album. Wrath, Wrath is cool. I will say that the riffs are a bit punchier in here. It definitely sounds like they tried. They're a band that realizes maybe they go to the well too often, and so they want to start incorporating different things, like some dynamic that, you know, you haven't seen in a while. So, I mean, it was decent. Still a three for me. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm kind of back in the same spot I was in the Lamb God one that we reviewed uh, two years ago. I do think this is better, but it's not uh, better enough for me to give it anything higher than a two and a half. I know. I'm still a dick, and I still have the same haircut I did in that video. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is just better, like, but not like better enough for me to give it like a full on three. Like, I still feel like this is like still more in that realm of just like, yeah, this is a Lamb of God album. It is kind of going through the motions on most of it, though there are some songs that show some punch and vigor and fucking aggression again that, you know, kind of reminded me of why I became a fan of this band in the first place. But it feels too safe still like you know it's great that they started picking up the pace a little bit more and you know uh, throwing in some different kinds of riffs but for the most part like this just kind of stays the course and i get it they got a good course it's held true pretty much yeah. uh, their entire career but honestly it's the moments that showed a lot of promise and then kind of didn't pay off because there's a lot of build-up and the, you know, the payoff is uh so-so on this that's what really kind of got me. Is like, man, you're just teasing some stuff that could really make some standout fucking songs on here. Like, you know, I need a little bit more from you guys. 
But still, I mean, if you're a Lamb of God fan, I'm 100% sure that yep. you are going to enjoy this. This does pack everything that most people want out of Lamb of God, I think. Lots of groove, lots of riffs, killer breakdowns. Randy is having his fucking tirades. You know, it's, it's Lamb of God. I just kind of want a little bit more from him at this point. But still, definitely check this out. Don't just take my word for it. I'm uh, the negative one again here. But uh, it's just me. So that brings us to the end of this review. If you like what you saw, please give it a like and subscribe. Because we do stuff like this all, all the time. time. You can also hit up thrallsofmetal.com encased within is our Patreon. Uh, as well as some merch. We have some shirts right now. We are working on getting some more things such as these nifty hats. Uh, probably some shorts. Condoms, underwear. Grenades. Lottery scratchers. Nick is so convinced that there will be grenades, I can neither confirm nor deny that I'm trying to see if Elon Musk will design us our own Thralls of Metal flamethrower. That'd Ooh. be cool, too. I still want the grenades, though. Ooh. Okay. And last but not least, it brings us to the point of the video that we always come to, where we thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're getting thanked. For, you're getting thanked you're, you're real getting, hard. You're getting, thank, you're getting hella thank yo. Right in the fucking mouth. <laughs> you're going to get thanked so hard, you're going to be like, man, I've never been thanked this hard in my whole fucking life. Good thing I recorded it and put it on the internet. Forever thanked. Thank hub. Yes, but thank you. Thank you to all who continue to tune in and, and watch. And spend your time watching and, us shitheads. Right. Subscribe and like and comment and do all the, the amazing things that you guys do, which I still can't really understand because... I, I know us. <laughs> I wouldn't watch us, but I have to because <laughs> right. I edit the videos. The, we, we appreciate that you've lowered your standards enough to still stick around. Thank you for that. You're good people. Yep. The best people. Thank you. And now we're going to wrap up this video because I think I have to shit. So we will catch you later. <laughs>